Oh. Oh. My string broke. Oh no, it didn't. The rail slipped. That was because the string was on that lump on the bale I was talking about, guys. Did you see what happened? Hello guys, PH here. I want to show you these new reels I got in. They're Enigma reels. And these are the Valkyrie uh, series reels. This is the 3000 size. And this is the 2000 size. They had a special on their site. If you bought any reel, you'll get a Valkyrie for only $9.99. So I took advantage. I bought the 3000 and for $9.99, I got the 2000 size. So it came out to under $60 shipped for both of them. So I'm gonna show you these guys up close and then I'm gonna go out on the water. If it ain't frozen, I'll look today and I'll spool them up and we'll test them out. And if not, then I'll just show the reels. Let's take a close look at the reels. Each one comes with the exploded view diagram showing the parts and the part numbers. So that's good. I'm going to show you the difference I found between the two of them so far. The 3000 model here has a black knob to tighten on the handle and the anti-reverse is black on the bottom of the switch. Whereas the 2000 model here is uh, the color of the real both spots. But other than that they're exactly the same. Not much bigger, just a little, little bit bigger. So I'm going to have to spool them up and give them a test. They feel alright. That's the drag on them. Feels alright. It's a little sticky in the beginning. It may wear in. It's not quite like a Daiya or a Shimano. I'm used to fishing with those, but we'll have to see how these hold up. We'll have to test them out. They got the EVA foam knob there, kind of like my Shimano Stratic. They got the line roller ball burning, which is nice. I like that. The bail feels really good on them and smooth. The aluminum uh, spool here. It, it looks like it's real hard by the ring it makes. The color on them is pretty neat. And here's the difference between 2000 and 3000 size. Only a little bit different. But we'll have to see how they work on the water guys. Like I said, I'm going to go there and I'm spool these up. It's been raining all night and it's been cold out and it was frozen for the past few days when I checked. So it's been like 40 degrees and raining, so maybe it's unfrozen. So if I test these out, I'll bring one by the pond and we'll see how it works. I'll see you there. If not, this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Hi guys, PH here. I got the Enigma Valkyrie. This is the 20. That's the 2000 size. And I came to the pond here. The only spot that's open is right here in the front a little bit. Everything else is frozen. Let's see if I can get any McNasties and put this Enigma to the test. Let's test this out. See if we get any McNasties and put this reel to a real beating of a test. Oh. Right on the ice. Let that fall. A few McNasties will put a nice pounding on this new reel. This thing is super bright, guys. <laughs> it's like fluorescent bright. One thing I noticed, guys, it's harder for me to reach the string on this reel. My Shimano and Dio ones have the bail higher, so easier for me to reach it. But then again, I have small little hands. Here's my hands, not the biggest. 
So if you have tiny hands, you may want to consider that. Nothing's popping in. The reel seems to wind on the string. Look at that. Really nice. No problem so far. Didn't catch a fish, but I've been fishing for a while. I didn't get one tangle. The line's going on straight on the spool. This is a real light bait. There's nothing on it but a thin hook. It's like a three op hook. It's a Lake Fork swimming slug. And I'll see if I could cast it up against the side. Nothing along that side. See, that's solid ice. <laughs> See if anything's over here. Oh, yeah, got one. I gotta pull it through these punks. Oh, oh, he got off. Oh man, it was a nice one too. The reel felt good. <laughs> I'll have to try to get more. What's all this oil coming from? That's strange. Oh, got one. Don't fall off, you little bugger. It's a little one, but I'll take them on the new reel. Stay still, little bugger. This is a baby. They like that green color. The reel pulled them in nice. Let them go. <whistles> Try casting it out there. Letting it just sink. Something, another little one. Stay on. Oh, another little one. The little ones are biting. This green swimming slug. God, it's so cold. And look at him go. Slow down. There he is. I got him right through the bottom. There he goes. Oh, he got a leaf in his mouth. It's pretty nice. Nice little beauty we got here. That's two on the Valkyrie reel. Missed the big one, but let them go. There it is. Oh, the reel's doing good, guys. You can hear it. Oh, it's a nice one. Holy God, he's pulling. Oh, no, if I get him up. Woo! Holy God. I guess the reel did good. That thing's a beauty. Beauty indeed. Look at the size of that. Fat. Woo! Bertha. That was a little hook. Oh, oh, I know you want to go, girl. Let's let this baby go. It's a big beauty. Look at this. Right there. Fat beauty. Oh, go in. There he goes. All right, guys. The Enigma Reel of Valkyrie did a good job on that big beauty. I had this lure at home in my box. It's like a sunfish, but it used to have a treble hook on the bottom. I took it off. I'm going to try this, see what happens. I never used it before. Let's see what happens. Cast nice. I think I pulled my shoulder on that last fish. Trying to pull a freaking rod so hard.
I think you gotta wiggle the tip like this with this bait to get that tail a wiggle when you're reeling in slow. Oh, something pegged it. Oh, it's a nice one. Oh, stay on. I don't know if I'm gonna get him up. Oh, baby, come here. Come here, yeah. Whoa, see, he just fell off. Woo. Holy God. <laughs> I guess that sunfish lure worked. Look at that. Beauty. I'm going to let him go. He's squirming too much. He's a fatty. A nice one. Oh, let him go. Holy. I'm trying that sunfish lure again. All right, this little bluegill sunfish thing worked good. So I'm going to give it another whirl. I just got to let it sink down. I noticed the line on here. You see it? It gets stuck. It don't smoothly go over this part here. It's not real smooth. Most of the times after I cast, I go like that anyway. I guess when you reel, it'll go over, but I notice when you just leave it loose like this and just go like that, see it? It gets snagged, it don't go over good. And that's what using this limp line, so normal line, it might work better. Well, it probably will with regular fishing string. I'll go right over. Let's see if we could get another one. Oh! Hit something. See if anything gets it like that. I can feel in the reel a knock when I'm reeling in. Something's making a clunking knock. Yeah. This lure is a little heavy, so when I reel in, I can feel the reels making a clunky knocking. Oh, through the ice sound. Something in the drive lines making a clunking knock. So it ain't like no Daiwa or Shimano. I figured that out already. And you can feel it now after catching a couple fish and I reel them in quick. Plus this is a heavy lure. So as you're cranking it in, you can feel that pop, 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 tap sound. See the string getting caught on there? That's no good. If you use regular mono or regular uh, fluorocarbon, it probably won't do it because it's springy. This is real thin and it gets stuck on there. You could see my fluorocarbon right here. When I put it over here like this and let it go, see how it goes. Eh, still gets kind of stuck. I don't like the design. See the line? Stuck. Wind's picking up again. Real definitely got a clunking clunk in it. 
I'm reeling it in. All I feel is a knock, knock, knock. <laughs> Someone's trying to get out into my rod handle. I'll let that sink. A shame. It's a nice looking reel. Try over here. Oh. Oh. My string broke. Oh no it didn't. The rail slipped. That was because the string was on that lump on the bale I was talking about, guys. Did you see what happened? Oh, and the fish just got off and it was a nice one. Because this string right here was caught on this lump on the bale, I pulled to set the hook and it opened up like that. And that's why I missed that fish. I'm going to try to do something with that. Maybe put a little epoxy on the back so it slips over. Ah, oh, man. Ah, it did it again. Did you hear it? I got stuck on the branch and the bale lifted up because the whole time I'm reeling my string is over here on this part. Garbage reels. It wasn't worth $60 for two of them. Right out by these trees. Now you see that line? It should go over onto that ball bearing bale and it don't so right now if when you threw that in you got a bite you would set the hook and this opens up i'm gonna have to do something there's like a sharp edge on this cone i'm gonna have to put super glue or epoxy and smooth it out to make it go over all right my thoughts on these reels the enigma valkyrie the ball bearing bale system with this aluminum cone there's a rough edge on the back side all the way around it. Your line gets caught on it. You've seen I missed that one fish because I thought I snapped my line. But it's because the bail opened up and I the string just came out. So I'm going to have to fix that with like super glue around it or epoxy to make it smooth. Another thing I don't like about the reel. It started to get a knock in it. And actually guys... All this stuff adds up. It was a bad purchase even for two of these for $60 shipped. If you spend $49 to get one of these, I highly recommend you not to get one. And get a Daiwa or a Shimano. I always use them and there's no comparison. This thing is not like one of them. Also another thing is... The uh, bail here isn't as high up to the rod, so if you have smaller hands, it'll be hard to reach like me. Uh, that's the review on this, sort of. I don't even have to use it anymore. I'm going to have to use these because I bought them. I'll try to modify them a little bit to get that bail working. Get a Daiwa or a Shimano. PH out. I'll see you next time on the water. Hit that bell for future videos. See you guys. I just got home and I checked something on the reel. Remember I said it was making a clunking sound? I think this might be it. Look how much play is in there. Let me look from the top and show you guys. That's a lot. I have old Daiwas and Shimano's that I used a lot of years. They don't do this. Sucks because you have to pick them up over this. Yeah. There we go.
I'm surprised the reel's working. <laughs> yeah. Now here's the hard part. There he is, a fatty. Golden beauty. Look at that. Whoa. He wolfed in that Z-Man bait. Right there on the lip. Oh, it fell right out. Check him out. Golden beauty. Oh, son of a bee, slimy bastard. Come on. Ah, dang bastard fish. There he is. Time to let him go.